Okay, I'm going to replace the float assembly in my toilet because it's constantly running. First thing you need to do is turn off the water supply by turning that completely clockwise. This is my new float assembly that I've picked up at Lowe's. These threads are going to go through the hole in the bottom of the toilet tank. So our next step is to remove the input water supply by removing the hose. I'm going to line this with some beach towels because there's still a little bit of water left in the tank. So I'm going to use a wrench to loosen that up. Okay, next, remove the nut at the bottom of the float assembly that's on the outside of the tank. Next, remove the water hose from the overflow pipe, and it's just held on by a clip. Now we can pull up on the float assembly and remove it. This is my new assembly that I picked up at Lowe's, and I'm attaching the new hose. Okay, I'm adjusting the shank by turning it clockwise or counterclockwise, and I'm going to make it just as long as the float assembly that I removed. I'm going to put it into the tank and put the threaded end through the hole at the bottom of the tank. Okay, next I'm attaching the new water hose to the clip on the overflow pipe. Now I'm tightening the nut at the bottom of the overflow assembly at the bottom of the tank. And my kit came with this green tool to assist in that. Next, attach the water supply. Then turn on the water and check for leaks. Okay, you can see my tank is filling up. Here's a closer view. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.